What's up, friends, and welcome back to the channel. So today, we are diving deep into the Smart Ring face-off of the year, the Ultra Human Ring Air versus the Aura Ring Gen 3. Yes, yes, both these rings, they are giants in the world of sleep and activity tracking, but there's a lot more under the surface. And so in this video, we're gonna explore the unique features of both, weigh out their pros and cons, and then figure out which ring is the perfect match for you. Is there actually one ring to rule them all? We will find out. So let's kick things off and we will start with the Ultra Human Ring Air. So it's kind of a dream come true for tech enthusiasts and health data junkies <clears throat> like myself. It's much more than just a basic activity tracker. It's really a comprehensive health monitoring tool. And the standout feature, which I haven't seen in any other rings before, is their CGM component. And this is great, especially for those who are interested in seeing how their sleep and activity tracking all relates back to metabolic health. Now for fitness enthusiasts, you'll be excited to hear this, it actually has a six axis accelerometer. And so this is gonna ensure that every aspect of your workout is captured with the utmost precision. I mean, it's gonna auto detect and pretty accurately track all kinds of movements, whether you're running, you're lifting, you're doing Pilates, etc. So this means you get a clearer picture of your workouts, better feedback, and it is really great for setting and hitting those fitness goals. And since we're coming up on a brand new year and all those resolutions, blah, 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 blah. But in addition, the Ultra Human Ring, it also includes a couple of really cool advanced features that make it stand out from a lot of other trackers on the market. The first one being this circadian rhythm feature. So, you know, our internal body clock, it handles our sleep and wake cycles. Well, the Ultra Human Ring, it tracks your sleep, your activity, your heart rate and temperature to really better understand this rhythm. And so with all of that info, it then gives you tips on how to tweak your day for better sleep and then more energy kind of like having a personal guide who's there to walk you through your body's natural schedule. It's very cool. The second thing that I particularly love because I'm a stimulant junkie is their stimulant window feature. Now this really is about finding the best time for you and your coffee break. So the ring uses your sleep and activity data to suggest the ideal time for caffeine so that you can then get the boost when you need it the most, without messing up with your sleep and causing jitters, et cetera. And so together, these features, they're designed to be like a roadmap to help take some of the guesswork out of your daily routine and then make sure that you're working with your body and not against it. All of that being said, the Ultra Human is definitely made for those who love diving deep into the weeds of all their health data. If you are super into analyzing and interpreting complex metrics, almost like a health scientist, then this ring is definitely up your alley. The Aura Ring, on the other hand, it takes a little bit of a different approach, providing key health insights with kind of almost very little effort from your end. I mean, don't get me wrong, the stats are definitely there if you're into that, but it's not like you're gonna be bombarded with a ton of data that you have to sift through every time you check the dashboard. Now, that being said though, when it does come to sleep tracking, the Aura Ring has been doing it for a very, very long time. And I would say it's kind of the superstar. I mean, it doesn't just count your hours. It really delves deep into your sleep stages and provides you with highly detailed analysis. Plus, it goes the extra mile by offering personalized recommendations based on all of your weekly sleep patterns over time. But what really makes it stand out for me are some of the more advanced features that they brought on in the last year or so. I mean, first we've got the oxygen saturation feature where the Aura Ring is gonna keep an eye on your blood oxygen levels while you sleep, which is great for potentially helping catch breathing issues. And then the ring boasts these seven very specialized sensors, which I talked about when it first came out, really for the accurate temperature monitoring. So it's gonna provide you with insights into how your body regulates its temperature during sleep because shifts in body temperature high or low, it can really impact your sleep quality and overall health. Now design-wise, the Aura Ring, it is super sleek and rather discreet. I mean, it's got this very chic, elegant vibe 
It makes it more like a piece of jewelry than a health gadget. Sometimes I think it's somebody wearing a wedding ring, uh, but that's a story for another day. Anyway, it also has a great seven day battery life. So it's pretty much always ready to go when you are. Now, performance and accuracy, let's talk about that. When it does come to sleep tracking, I gotta say both are pretty solid. I've had a lot of comparisons with other rings with the Aura Ring in the past, and um, this one actually came pretty close. Very similar data and insights. Although, big caveat, these are not medical devices, so it's not gonna ever be 100% accurate. But after I dug into months and months of data, because I've been wearing this ring for like four months, um, here's what I found when comparing these two rings. So both the Aura and the Ultra, they were actually pretty close in terms of total sleep time, deep sleep, REM, heart rate, and HRV, which is great. Now the average difference between them when I rounded it all out was about two to five percentage points. So pretty low. But when it comes to things like light sleep and then oxygen saturation, that is where I definitely saw a much bigger discrepancy on the stats, kind of like opposite ends of the spectrum. So just something to keep in mind if you decide to get one or the other. Now for exercise, Ultra Humans got the edge with a really wide range of activities, everything from tennis to yoga, whereas Aura keeps it pretty simple and it's pretty good at auto detecting walks and runs, but um, not much else. <laughs> and then heart rate wise, when I looked at both and compared it to my Apple Watch as well, um, I found that the Ultra Human often showed higher heart rates and therefore calorie burns, but that might be a bit of an overestimation with those numbers. So again, none of these things are perfect, but just something to keep in mind if you're very diligent on counting calorie burns, etc. So I would definitely say Ultra Human is great for detailed fitness tracking. It's got a lot of goal setting. Aura Ring, on the other hand, is kind of great for that hassle-free basic activity tracking, and it's a little bit more geared to finessing the sleep stuff. So we finally come to the overall pros and cons, and I gotta say the Ultra Human, it wowed me. It's got this advanced six axis accelerometer for very super accurate activity tracking. And it's also pretty big on stress management. I really like that, uh, especially since I am one of those people that falls in that category of high stress, loves late caffeine. So it's been really great to kind of track how things like caffeine and workouts are affecting my overall base HRV. And then in terms of design, I mean, it is really made to last. It's got a durable hypoallergenic design and it's actually great for swimming because it's water resistant or a ring is less water resistant. Although it does seem to be showing more wear and tear. Uh, just for context, I've had my Aura Ring since the three came out, which is like, what, two, three years ago. And then I've had the Ultra Human just for about the past four or five months. And you can kind of see there is quite a bit of a difference um, in terms of wear and tear. Looks like this one, the Ultra Human got a little bit more beat up, but this one's definitely more polished. So again, not all perfect, but um, yeah, I would say if you're not super, super concerned about aesthetics, Ultra Human, definitely um, a great fit. And uh, the only other thing I would say that kind of is annoying about <laughs> the Ultra Human is I feel like I'm always charging it. The, the battery life is probably five to six days at tops. Uh, so just keep that in mind. I feel like I get a lot better of a ring charge out of the Aura. And the other last thing to keep in mind price wise, cause that's always a big concern. So initially the Ultra Human's like a little bit more expensive up front, but there is no ongoing subscription fee. So that is a total bonus. But let's talk about the Aura Ring Gen 3 pros and cons. And I gotta say it's a sleep wizard. I mean, it's gonna give you the most bang for your buck, the detailed insights into how your sleep patterns and even how much you toss and turn are affecting your overall sleep quality and therefore health. So it's got a much more elegant and slightly heavier design. Um, the battery life is definitely gonna last you a couple days longer, <laughs> in my opinion. And then here's the other thing, especially for women, the period prediction is a pretty helpful feature. They've actually improved that significantly since I first talked about it a couple, like a year or two ago. And again, it's gonna auto detect certain workouts like walking and running, but it's not gonna be as hefty as a fitness tracker as the Ultra Human, 
Um, and then the Ultra Human is not as hefty of a fitness tracker as the Whoop, but we'll get there another time. And then finally, the Aura Ring, it doesn't have a CGM feature yet. That would be so cool. And the stress management indicators, they aren't quite as comprehensive, although I see that they're working on that. So that's probably something that's gonna be rolled out in 2024. Okay, well, that's a lot, <laughs> but with all of that, taking all that into account, uh, which ring should you choose if you're wondering to get one? And here's what I'd say, thought long and hard about this. If you are, say, a fitness and a tech enthusiast who values functionality over design, I'd say the Ultra Human Air is really your best bet. On the opposite spectrum, if your focus is really more on general health and wellness with kind of an easy to use approach, the Aura Ring is gonna be perfect. It also has an elegant design that makes it kind of a hit for those who want their wearable tech to be subtle but stylish. And so I would say if you are a super sleep analysis and recovery junkie, the Aura Ring is gonna stand out. But remember the best choice is going to depend on your personal health goals, your lifestyle, your budget, and then what really you want out of your wearable tech. So I'm gonna keep wearing both. I like it, um, but then again, I'm kind of a data nerd. So, you know, a little bit of an outlier. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I will link everything for you below. If you liked this kind of content, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I've got so much more coming down the pike for you. Yeah, I think that's it for today. Thank you again. I can't wait to catch you on the next one. Oh wait, I didn't do that right. I can't wait to catch you on the next one.